So, this is the room we'll be totally transforming as a surprise gift for my little brother. It's a small room in my parents' house designated as a den or an office space in the building plan. It's always also been sort of a multi-purpose room in the house, you know, used for just about everything. Out of everyone in the house though, my little brother tends to use the space the most since he likes to draw and game a lot. In one corner, we've got a large brown bookshelf where my mom stores a ton of books and some of my brother's arts and craft stuff. There's a completely ran down desk setup run by a Lenovo laptop, which I used to use about 10 years ago. The room is super cramped and there's just stuff in there that doesn't have any business being in there. I'll be honest with you guys. In short, the room was begging for a remodeling. Definitely deteriorated a lot in time due to neglect and also the fact that me and my older brother moved out years ago. If anyone was going to fix it up, it would have had to be one of us. So I went back home to visit a few months ago and decided it needed an extreme makeover. I thought, why not make it a whole thing and plan a massive surprise for the little guy that would happen on Christmas Day? So I've been working on doing this one for about six months now, and I'm excited to get it done now. So I'll let Ty go ahead and tell you guys a little bit more about what he does, because um, he's going to be helping me out throughout this entire process. On my channel, we also do things like this. We do setup. I talk about smart home automations. I talk about tech, you know, everything lifestyle that you can use in your home to make your own the perfect you know, smart home. So make sure you check my channel. I'd like to see you guys there as well. The first thing we did was prepare the room for the massive change that was about to come. We added a door lock to the existing door to keep it locked whenever we weren't at the house. This way we could maintain our element of surprise and you wouldn't be able to see what was going on in there. There was no way this was going to be a one day job. So locking the room was extremely critical. The first thing we did was clean out the room and this was a little nostalgic for me since some of the things in there brought back old memories, especially that old Lenovo laptop. Prepping and cleaning the room was probably the easiest and fastest part of the entire process. This whole thing was done in the last week of December, which tends to be one of the coldest times of the year here in Canada. And this particular day was brutal, but that wasn't going to stop anything at all. We went over to our nearest Home Depot to pick up some painting supplies for both the walls, the baseboards, the window, and the door frame. Ty kicked off the renovation process by applying putty to all the dents and holes in the wall, uh, and we began the first coat of paint immediately. The color we chose was a variant of gray, but this one had a slight blue undertone in it as well. I wanted a modern look for the entire room and this shade of gray was the starting point on that drawn canvas. Covering up the old paint with the first coat took a couple of hours but once that was done, we decided to call it for the day since we had to wait for it to dry properly before adding the second coat. The second day began with taking up the baseboards and getting those ready for painting as well. While Ty applied the cut-ins for the second coat of paint, I applied the first coat of the other paints which we got in black for the baseboards, window, and door frame. The previous color was this ugly brown which, you know, honestly wasn't going to fit that modern look which we wanted to achieve. After the second coat of paint was applied to the walls, the baseboards, the door, and the window frame, we moved on to replacing the archaic lighting in the room with something a lot more with the current times. We replaced it with the six inch smart recess light, which was provided by Lumery for this project. Replacing the light was pretty easy, especially since this wasn't our first time doing it, but it's generally an easy process. We did have to expand the smaller cutout that was there initially, but they provided a guide to help with getting that accurately done, as well as a guide on the whole installation and setup process. After that, the shades were up next. The plan was to replace the one that was there with automated shades for a cleaner and a modern look. We didn't replace this right away though. We just took it off temporarily to allow more light into the room as we built the furnitures. We started with the bookshelf from Ikea, which I'd picked up in white to add a lighter feel to the room as opposed to the heavy brown that was in there before. As always, IKEA furniture was annoying to build, but you know, I've built a million of them at this point, so what's one more? After the shelf, we moved on to building the desk, 
which we were able to put together super quickly and easily using the provided manuals. I'd also received this all white, beautiful and super unique electric standing desk from Fengi called the FD2 Piano. I've personally never seen a desk with a style like it and it's called the piano desk because it actually looks like one. The top side comes in two layers, pretty much eliminating the need for a monitor riser, which I think is pretty amazing and saved me that extra spend. The 135 degree ramp design has some openings, which is great for airflow and also means more space in the desk and less uh, strain on the neck. The top side measures 55 by 27 inches, which happened to be the perfect fit for the space in the room. It uses a single motor for lifting and lowering and also comes with all the bells and the whistles, like a metal hook for holding accessories and a USB charging port built into the control module. Overall, the build quality and functionality of the FD2 is great and I definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for a desk with similar specs, but a very unique design. Once we were done building the bookshelf and the standing desk, the really fun part began. We added all the different desk accessories like a 27 inch 2K gaming monitor mounted onto a desk arm, a pair of Razer Nomochroma speakers, a Razer Isker X gaming chair, a 10 keyless black and white keyboard and Logitech's G Pro X super light gaming mouse amongst you know other things. I even added a large plant from Ikea to the corner of the desk to add some greenery to the room. Cable management is always important, at least, you know, for any desk setup that I'm involved in putting together. We only needed a single cable tray for this one to keep things organized. A few months ago, I also built the Oreo cookie PC, which was supposed to power the entire setup. I used parts from my own PC, which also meant I had to upgrade that, but it was absolutely worth it. The Oreo cookie system runs off 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti GPU, and Intel's 12th gen i9-12900K uh, CPU. I also made sure to add a whole bunch of RGB fans and, you know, an AIO cooler from Corsair. At this point, we were ready to mount the new automated shades, which I had picked up off Amazon. I bought this one in linen whites to complement all the bright colors in the room and installation for it was a breeze, just like all the other times we had done it in the past. We decided to replace the door as well since the one there had a few glass pieces missing and it also had that heavy brown color which honestly I hated at this point. We went shopping through different stores but found that modern style slab door that you know we wanted at Home Depot. This was literally our first time replacing the door so it wasn't something we knew how to do exactly but we're fast learners, so we adapted quickly, and the old one was off, and a new one was installed in no time at all. We also painted the new door to match the baseboards, the window, and the door frames. We proceeded to add some ambient light in the form of nano leaf lines to the top of the desk, and that just gave the desk area and the entire room a nice finish. The lines are always super easy to install, especially once you've chosen the pattern to go with. I mean, I've installed tons of these, and they always tend to be easy. Make sure to use a level for this though, if you plan on keeping them looking straight and sharp. The second coat on the door was the final thing that we had to do and we pretty much were nearing the end of the project by now. At this point, I was really happy with how everything was coming out and I just couldn't wait to show my little bro the final result. I'd already set up the PC with a brand new copy of Windows 11 prior to coming back home for the project. So booting it up was pretty much straightforward and everything was ready, including all the gaming apps. The chair I chose to use for the desk is a Razer Isker X, and this was designed specifically for gamers, so I thought he'd love it. I also had a few other Razer gear that I purchased and were already on the desk, which I figured the ergonomic chair would pair well alongside. Personally, I think it looks and it works great. By now, everything was done, the room was ready for that Christmas Day reveal, and I loved the clean and the simple aesthetic we were able to achieve here. From the wall paints to the automated shades and all the white furniture, everything was looking spick and span. The final result was undoubtedly a drastic improvement over what the room used to look like. And at this point, I knew he'd be happy with it. There was no way he wouldn't. Everything mentioned and used throughout this transformative process will be linked down below. So use those to find out more about anything that might have piqued your interest. Anyway, on to the surprise reveal. Okay, so it's all done now. It took us about five days to get this one done but I'm glad about how everything turned out. So today is Christmas and I'm ready to show it to him, you know, see the reaction on his face. So let's go ahead and do that. Come in. Come on. <laughs> well, congrats. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I got something else for you, huh? 
Open that up. Right now, right now, right here, right here, right here. Open it up. You know what that is? It's a drawing tablet. It's a drawing tablet. Yes, it is. This is your drawing blob, so you're going to use this when you draw. Now, I want to see some really cool drawings going into next year. You hear me? So that's your drawing tablet, and that's your gaming PC. So I've set it up for you. All you got to do now is have some fun with it. But go ahead. Take a seat. Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll put this up here for now. <laughs> as much as you want, but there's a limit. Okay? You get you there's there's a certain amount of time you can play for daily. So I want balance. You gotta draw and then you get to play. You see what I'm saying? Are you happy? Good, good, good. That's it. Limited time so you can you have to balance everything. Okay? Well, I'm gonna come back and take it all. <laughs> all right, there you go. If you abuse it, I will take it. So don't abuse it, okay? Use it, enjoy it, just don't abuse it. <laughs>